Big young boy shit, man. And young boy shit. And young boy shit taking his shit, nigga. Young boy shit for real. Oh man. Keep playing, young boy. He's really his hands, bro. He really back here, bro. Hey, why be, nigga? Fuck your crib, nigga. We coming for all that shit. On the guys. We taking everything. you already heard about it you know what i'm saying uh young boy had got his shit ran into you feel me <laughs> and at this point bro i'm just giving i'm giving my opinion on this so i don't want none of y'all nba young boy fans coming from me you feel me like bro this nigga has to tighten up on his security 
You feel me? Like, if a nigga can get inside, get inside of your crib while you're gone, <laughs> while you're gone, and man, it's to steal some. Well, they didn't steal nothing really major. They stole some petty ass shit. You feel me? It's like, what was the point of you risking your your your, your fucking life and just risking it all? For I think it was twenty dollars, some keys, and some other extra shit. Like, come on, bro. These niggas are so fucking stupid, my nigga. So stupid. Like niggas just be doing that. I feel like it was just really a boast for clout. It's real that that shit was all for fucking clout. What them niggas did. You know what I'm saying? And really, other than that, I wanted to speak on uh, Jay Prince. Now, <laughs> this is a funny thing that I heard. But I feel like it's true because every time, every time a nigga shit come up missing, who got it? Him. He got that shit. So I'm sitting here wondering, how come every time somebody gets robbed, this nigga is always popping up with they shit, trying to give it back to them or sell it to them, whatever the fuck process they go through. You know what I'm saying? And... I came to the conclusion that this nigga could be possibly setting motherfuckers up. Like, simple as that, bro. Like, that's what I feel like. Like, he low-key setting niggas up, taxing them, and at the same time, making his name even be bigger and better. You feel me? And I'm glad that NBA young Youngboy ain't the type of niggas that, that fuck with that. He don't fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? Because Jay Prince didn't have to take that shit to social media. He could have contacted him. You feel me? Like personally contact him instead of flossing on social media. See, that's that's why I said he's trying to get he could be possibly trying to get a bigger name out of this shit, or you know what I'm saying, more recognition as that nigga who you know what I'm saying as the the big dog. You feel me? That's who he's portraying himself as. You heard the conversation that was leaked, uh, the message that Jay Prince had sent to NBA Young Boy. <laughs> but all in all, said bro. NBA young boy needs to up his fucking security because if that was me, bro, them niggas would be gone. Simple as that. I remember it was another altercation that he had with some fans where they ran up on his fucking car. Now, if I'm paying my security and I'm that fucking big, a fan ain't supposed to get nowhere, no, no, no feet around me, none of that. They ain't supposed to be breathing my, man, you paying all that money, bro. And it's going to waste on these whack ass security that ain't doing shit. It's, it's like, bro, how are these niggas getting, getting to the perimeter? How are they getting to the perimeter? You feel me? They got past the perimeter. Then they got inside the crib. Then they got inside the car. And they managed to steal shit and get out safe. Like, where's the cameras? Where's the security watching while you're gone? Like, I, I, I will never understand it, bro. That shit is crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? But the whole the whole J Prince situation, that shit seems like hella suspicious. You know what I'm saying? Because this hasn't been the first time he's popped up, had somebody shit, trying to sell it back. You know what I'm saying? Get on social media and all that shit. You feel me? It, it do seem kind of fucking fishy, and I would not be fucking with that, you feel me? Like, if you got my shit, bro, just give it back to me. I'm not finna fucking pay you to get my shit back. Especially some nigga I don't know. I don't give a fuck if you big dog or little dog. The fuck? Like, come on now. I just never understand it, bro. Never understand it. But, really... I just wanted to give my opinion on this situation because it seems to me like everything is just bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You got the niggas that's cloud chasing. Then you got Jay Prince. Who knows what the fuck type of agenda that nigga got. Then you got NBA young boy, dumbass, who's still hiring these nut ass security guards. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's a nigga that's breaking inside my crib, bro, imagine if I was there. I know they wasn't gonna kill no damn body, not them niggas. But I'm saying, if it had if it had been a nigga with true intentions of killing me, and y'all security there and y'all doing that same shit, that lazy shit, imagine what would happen. 
Like, come on, man. That shit is fucking ridiculous. And that's really all I had to say about this shit, man. He need to tighten up, bro. <laughs> he need to tighten up, bro. This is scary. I can't. I can't do it, bro. But thought and all said, man, if you enjoyed this, you feel me? Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure that y'all like the video. If you have anything to talk about, you know what I'm saying? You can simply message me or post a comment on how you feel about this video or about the situation I talked about. <laughs> you feel me? Um, this is really all I had to say, y'all. Come on. The little homie young boy place got broke into. He just went in his place, disrespected different things. And, uh, you know, I got a call about it. And, and the little homies that went into this place want to make that right because they understand that, you know what I mean, uh, young boy family is, is okay with me. And uh, as you can see, homie, to make a long story short, I got your keys to your Rolls Royce. I got your keys to your McLaren, you know, all that shit that they took, and the homie, Shakur, what you got, homie? We got your uh, Rolls Royce umbrellas, we got your keys, we got a bunch of other shit, so get in contact with us, bro, get your shit back, The little homie, young. I don't want no friends, I don't want no new relationships. All that pussy and shit, hey, I don't respect none of that shit, man. If you got something for me, Man, they got plenty of niggas around me you could call. Man, nigga, it's plenty, it's plenty ways you could get in touch with me. Man, don't get on no internet and do nothing publicly. Don't do nothing dealing with, with no fucking publicity. None of that pussy and shit. And I'm good on no, I'm good on no keys, gangster. When you buy shit cash, two, two keys come with the car anyway. Mind your fucking business, man.